today in the video series of materials property our topic is density of states uh, in this series we are basically solving some of the problems related to materials property the problems uh, we are discussing here uh, is uh, uh, has already come in the JRF net or gate exams in the physics background welcome to material horizons this is Subro see you after the intro so let's go for the first problem so the energy dependence of the density of states for a two dimensional non relativistic electron gas is given by ge that is density of states is c into e to the power n where c is constant the value of n is what okay so this question comes again and again so uh, here uh, it would be better if we know this dependence for three classes of uh, material system this this ge varies energy to the power half for 3d system and GE varies e to the power 0 for 2D system and GE varies e to the power uh, minus half for 1D system. So if I know these three uh, dependence then we can uh, answer any of the classes. So the answer will be N for this question because they are saying for two dimensional system okay so then the next problem next problem we have given that fermi energy of gold is 5.454 electron volt the number of density of electron is number of electron so for this kind of problems we need to know some of the constants Bef uh, or it is mentioned many times so what is the equation for if we want to know what is the number of electrons so for that if it is related to the Fermi energy then h cross square 2m 3 pi square n into 2 by 3 so this n is actually number density of electrons m is mass of the electrons h cross this is reduced Planck's constant ef is fermi energy so if you calculate then we will come to like this 3 by 2 h cross q into ef 3 by 2 now uh, as in my previous videos also i have said to remember those things uh, Planck's constant we know 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second. this is Planck's constant not Pl reduced Planck's constant we have to calculate that E is like 9.11 10 to the power minus 31 kg and this is charge and 1 electron volt is actually 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 joule so if you calculate them together we will come to 5.9 into 10 to the power 28 per meter cube because we are putting everything in SI unit so it will also come in the SI so that is per meter cube we will have this number of electrons that is the electron density so let's go to the next problem see this is very interesting this pattern of problem comes in several uh, net and gate exams so this function we have here uh that is dispersion equations well it may come in the form of other equation also 
so here the beta is constant a is lattice constant the effective mass of electron we have to calculate and this is the dispersion relation for electron this is energy and the this a is lattice constant so uh, for effective mass what is effective mass of electron is h cross square that we know right d k2 k is momentum is energy so they are asking in the first boolean zone so first boolean zone for that we know the k should be minus pi by a to plus pi by a that is the first boolean zone so here it is in three dimensional system we can write kx equal to plus minus pi by a k y equal to plus minus pi by a similarly k z equal to plus minus pi by a once we write this what is the d2 e k by d k2 at pi by a pi by a pi by a that is in three dimensional system if we calculate and put those values in this equation ek equation i mean we double uh, we uh, do the double derivative and put it then we will come up with beta a square correct so once we get that we will put that in the n star equation and easily we will get h squared square 3 beta s so this kind this pattern problem comes uh, several times i have seen repeatedly anyway moving ahead uh, so what they are telling the radius of fermi sphere of free electron in a monovalent metal with an FCC structure so this is point to be noted FCC structure in which the volume of the unit cell is a cube so this is also to be noted so uh, it is in reciprocal space right because K is there I mean because Fermi surface is there right Fermi sphere so that would be in reciprocal space so K space on other words we can say so what is kf then if it is at fermi energy that should be kf that should be 3 pi square v whole to the power 1 by 3 what is v volume of the sphere and uh, this uh, n is the n is the number of atoms per unit uh, cell in that case because this is fcc structure so once we calculate this n by v we will come up with the answer you can see because this is number four effective uh, atoms per unit cell and uh, the area is a cube because this is fcc structure then what is the kf just putting easily here we will get 12 pi square by a cube one third we have got the answer easily right so let's go to the next problem yeah if the again energy dispersion of two dimension system e will do again we have got an energy dispersion where u is the velocity k is the momentum the density of states depends on energy so what is the density of states dependence on energy this is the question okay and second thing is it is a two-dimensional system just now we have uh, we were reading about that right in this case they, they are already telling don't be fooled by that because uh, we know that it is not dependent the density of states don't depend on the doesn't depend on the energy 
in the two dimensional system but here uh, we should not be uh, driven by the by the normal theory because here they are giving some dispersion equation so if we calculate the gk density of states when it is in k dependence i mean momentum dependence that is given by l by 2 pi whole square 2 pi k into dk right and the dispersion equation is given u h cross into k hence k is actually e by u h u uh, h cross h cut so what is dk dk is if we derivative it we will get u into h cross so similarly we want to calculate what is ge into de by the way we are calculating here the allowed states which are available between k and k plus dk similarly valid for this e and e plus de so that is l by 2 pi whole square into 2 pi into e u h cut into d e by u h cut okay just simply we are putting the values now what we will come up with l by 2 pi whole square 2 pi u h cut square into e into d e so if we calculate the density of states in that sense so that would be ge into de divided by de so in that case that would be 1 by u h cut square l square by 2 pi into e so here in according to that this dispersion relation we can have this density of states varies uh, e even in two dimensional system right because of this dispersion equation okay so that's it for today we will uh, solve more problems uh, in the next class thank you for watching it please like and subscribe it see you in the next video bye bye